So as a supplement to this week's lectures, which included a discussion of the law of excluded middle, which holds that for every sentence p, it's either true or false, I wanted to discuss an alternative system of logic which does away with this altogether. This is so-called intuitionistic logic, which was developed in the 20th century by a Dutch mathematician named L.E.J. Brouwer. I plan to make an independent video about Brouwer and the philosophical underpinnings for his constructivism about math and what prompted him to create this intuitionistic logic. But for now, I want to zero in on why intuitionism does away with excluded middle altogether. One way of reading a sentence like P is just as an assertion, but another way is saying that you have a proof of it. So for instance, if we take P in the stronger sense of saying provably P, then we'll wind up in a situation in which excluded middle looks a little weird because it could be read as provably P or provably not P or provably P or not provably P. If we read P in the stronger sense of provably P, then we wind up in an interesting situation with respect to negation because now we have two options. Is it that we don't have a proof of P, in which case the negation goes at the front of the sentence, or is that we have a proof that not P, in which case we, the negation goes on the P embedded in this. Reading these assertions in the stronger sense gives us two kinds of negation, but then the whole thing of excluded middle kind of falls apart because you're not saying that it's true or not. Now this is important because there are a lot of unproved conjectures in mathematics, and you might want to say, well, we're kind of making it seem as though we have a proof that P or we have a proof that not P, but we just might not have a proof at all. And in fact, in an even stronger sense, we might not be able to prove it at all. There are conjectures that are just unproved in mathematics. Take, for instance, the Riemann hypothesis. If we read that as P or not P, we would say it's either true or false. That's fine on classical logic, but on intuitionistic logic, if you're saying we have a proof that P or we have a proof that not P for a Riemann hypothesis, that's not true because we don't have a proof either way. So we want to say we don't have a proof that P. So this is a way in which reading of assertion turns into an intuition about negation so that you have two kinds of negation. You have a proof that not, or you don't have a proof that. And that results in a different reading of the logical connective or, which does not allow the law of excluded middle, which is in many respects a cornerstone of classical logic. And this is just one of the famous objections to the law of excluded middle and the way that it makes us read sentences.